recording again? All right. So looks like we have a good group here. We got most of our mentors on. I got some learners on. I got a couple messages um, that some people aren't going to be available, but they'll watch the recording. So um, hopefully everyone is staying cool because it's super hot. That time of year, everyone's getting their camps ready. Exciting. Um, okay, let's see here. Um, all right. So I guess we could get started. Why don't we start um, with an opening prayer? Um, Grandma D, he hope Gemma, they dot sorry if you're able to. Yeah, is this a melody? Yeah, they're on there, but they're gonna pray. Yeah, I think they're praying. Grandma D might be muted. Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Grandma Dorothy. Oh, hi. Uh, do we have uh, one of our mentors who'd be willing to offer an opening prayer for us to start our session off? Dane? Yeah. Marty? Judith? Melody, could you let Judith be outside? Oh, Judy, if you would, Bedotsai, please. Is she there? Uh, oh, oh. The pawn mark. The end. Oh. Sonda, yeah, Dinda, yeah, Deepaka, Bebeka, Adode, So Lake, Nine, Hayo, yeah, Mayo, Bebeka, Tidode, Beta, Bega, Adode, Aga, Gat, Oga, Alma, Deki dot by dot. I do de. Obaha. Obaha. Amen. Aho. Aho. I'm sorry, Melody. I was muted. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I wasn't sure if you had your technician with you. Uh, so. Yes. <laughs> okay. Sorry, she's busy. She went to her other job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we got some good prayers though. Aho. A real job. <laughs> <laughs> Man, everyone's busy that time of year. I wasn't sure if if people would be available for tonight because I know we'll have to uh we'll have to cancel next week because you know a lot of us will be out there dancing so or singing, so um but Good to see everyone. There's a good, we have a good group tonight. Uh, I got a message from Courtney and she said that they're setting up their camp. So she said she'll watch the recording and she says hello to everyone. All right. And uh, let's see, uh, 
Dane, are you able to hear? You got your audio working. Can y'all hear me? Oh. oh. Awesome. All right. Yeah, I can. I can hear you now. I don't. I don't know what I was doing a while ago. And I made you a co-host, Dane. Okay. So in case you need to do breakout rooms or something. Okay. Um. So I guess uh, since you're here, Dane, <laughs> we've been really wondering for a couple sessions now. Uh, are there any updates from the credentialing board that you're able to share? Um, today, uh, we just had, we just came from our, uh, meeting about 30 minutes ago. We ended that about 30 minutes ago. And, uh, we're going to go ahead and try a weekday time this time instead of a weekend. Uh, cause some of the weekends are kind of taken up for some of these, some of these days here. So. We said we we're going to try to shoot for July, uh, just to give you a little bit, a little bit of time, give you a little bit of a few days over a month. So we're shooting for the 29th. And the reason why we're doing the 29th is that it is going to be up in Norman this time, because we're going back and forth between Norman and Anadarku. Um, and those seem to be like the closest spots where people can drive from certain areas to, uh, to go that's close enough for people up here people down and and uh and uh, uh down there um, like carnegie lot and to be able to go to anadarko or they can you know everything should be within driving distance if there was anything coming up anybody that would be coming from tulsa then then a norman one would probably be a little bit closer so um so we we're, we're shooting at the 29th is what we're looking at and the reason why we're also choosing that day as well is because we already have a class that goes on there um every second tuesday uh is we're doing um that's the bigger class but we're doing very small sessions dealing with grammar on those other days so it's really small class so that's it's just the in person and that one's not online but uh so we kind of have that place reserved every monday for a uh, kaiwa language so it's just it's a good spot to have it in but that's when it's going to that's what we have and what we discussed earlier is the 29th which is a monday night just to try something a little bit different and for those who are already going to that class that was there just to get the grammar part uh it shouldn't cut into anything because it's the, it's the stuff that we're studying anyway so it shouldn't really make a too much of a difference um they close uh the district seven office normally closes at five o'clock but i guess we um, can show up a little bit earlier at four start setting up and then we could probably just kind of work from then all the way till about eight or nine kind of by a normal so we'll be in there a lot longer than we normally are oh. <clears throat> that's all i have i do actually got another meeting at 7 30 so if that ends a little bit earlier i might be able to come back in my maybe about uh well, well we'll see how long that meeting goes so uh i forgot these are kind of shorter than they used to be too so um I might if i do got time if it's if it's over, if it's over in 30 minutes and uh hopefully i can be back so oh. I'll step out but i just want to make sure that y'all know the time uh monday the 29th of july Oh, aho. All right, awesome. That's good to know.
What's up? I get the wrong thing, but I get I can't quit, but I thought it would be a, a good one because the ladies behind us that are talking Kiowa now, <clears throat> you know how to uh, pray at gatherings, all of you, it's such a beautiful question to be asked to pray. Anyone got anything to add? Melody? Hi, yeah, Baba. It got quiet while I go after I got through praying. And I can't work this machine. My daughter went home and went to bring her back. Well, I'm glad you're able to join us, Grandma. Uh, let's see. I know Jane had to leave. He had to go to another meeting, I guess. Um, but he shared with us the information about the upcoming credentialing in Norman on July 29th. So for any of the learners here, do you have any questions for any of our mentors? We have all our mentors online with us today. I just, I just hope he, he gets to come back. I had some uh, things I wanted to run through with him on the, on the um, assessment. So hopefully he gets to return. Oh, yeah, we'll my, keep an eye my, for him. Yeah, my mind I keeps have... kind of going in and out also. So hopefully it stays on. This is, this is Carolyn. I don't know. I don't want to impose on oh. Nell, but I don't know. You might ask her if she knows anything about the question you might have for Dane mm -hmm. as far as well, credentialing. Well, like, um, I'm sorry, just like uh, I was wanting to just get with him and ask him to um, go through some of it, you know, with me or go ahead and just Give me that assessment and let me try it. <clears throat> because we can hardly, you know, get together. It's hard to get together. Uh -huh. And it's on the noun, the verb, the, those pronouns, that kind of thing. Yeah. I want to, I want to try it. I want to try it. Uh -huh. I don't know what sure that is, but I do know that. We meet on Monday evenings, just a small group in Norman. If you wanted to drive up, yeah, not not, yeah. I think the eighth is the next time we'll be meeting. You might see about driving up and asking Dane. Then he's there, yeah. and Ramon is there also, and Ramon is helpful. Yes. And I think uh, Ramon might, I think he already passed it, right? So he might have some insight for us <laughs> that are working All on right. it. <laughs> All right, Ramon. We need to get Not together. to put you on the spot, Gutho, he's Holly, but, oh. you know. Put him on the spot. Might. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, he said he had to step away. He might still be oh. uh, away from the computer. Okay. We'll see when he comes back. I'm back now. Oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, Judy, do you want to see if Ramon? Oh, what can you share with us about, you know, um, when we do that little assessment? 
What can you share with us about that? Um, for level two? Yes. Um, so I know a portion of it is the stories. Um, so, of course, just recording the stories and sending those in. Um, oh, yeah. And then the there's a portion where it goes from... Because level one is supposed to be Kiowa to English. Um, mm -hmm. And then level two is just... English to Kiowa, which uh, just challenges you a little bit more. Um, and, but as far as the pronoun um, portion, uh, really the way I prepped for that, um, we've been doing these, uh, like Carolyn said, the classes on Monday. Um, yes. And there's a, a portion of a book from Daniel Harbor where he um, talks about the noun classes in Kiowa. Mm -hmm. So it gets very technical as far as like linguistics, um, where you start to dive into what is a singular or dual or verse or plural. Um, so an example of that, like SDI. SDI is probably the largest noun class, which would involve your people, animals, insects, uh, things of that nature. Um, so, for example, that would be uh, like saying, if you wanted to say, um, he is a Kiowa man. So that there's that absent pronoun that's there. Yes. Um, and then if you want to say they are two Kiowa men, uh, goik yain has the pronoun a, uh, referring to two, and then, uh, to go, well, whenever you get into they are three or more men, um, specifically with Kiowas, there's a particular pronoun that's used which would be um uh like goy can hyo but if you wanted to say they were comanche men guy can hyo a daw it that that's probably like one of the only particular things about that but um really what i did for that was um kind of figure out out of the nouns that we have which being shu uh shirt plum yeah. all those figuring out the noun classification that they were in um and then the pronoun chart that we have mm -hmm. uh dane has it to where like if you're looking at the two-part pronoun um, the box that just says I to it he or she or I to them too or I to them all to three or more um, so for instance um, an example would be I saw the man um, then uh Whenever you say I saw the two men, and he aim bon or uh sorry, uh name bon. I saw the two men. And he bon. Uh, That's also responsibility. Then so, whenever you get into uh what they call long form, because that SD class with singular numbers, the uh, then uh you would say can he de bon. Science and so, that, you know, that's how that lines of their culture versus who they are as a tribe. Uh, yeah. a tribe I does think. he, and does he actually come? Yeah, Daniel, does he actually come? No, no, he it, it was just a it was a book that I uh, have the book, I was hunting for it just now. <laughs> I would gladly loan it out. Oh, and I think. It, my sisters and I worked with him for about five years, and a, a lot of people, 
and he would gladly come and instruct that method. I'm sure he would. Yeah. And I'm hunting for his book. Yeah. The um what we have is kind of like printed out. Uh, uh Dane has it as a uh PDF file. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm searching through my my bag for it right now. Um He worked with uh McKinsey. Huh? Oh, Let's see. We worked with him for a long time, but Lucy Whitehorse and all of those ladies from Carnegie worked on with him for a long time. Ruth Redbird, Dorothy and all of them. He's really quite a guy. I love to do something. Yeah. I'm not sure of the name of the book, but it we went over chapter two, and that's where it talks about the noun classes. Um, but really what I did to study for it, because there's the PowerPoint that it has um, in the Google Drive folder um, that shows the level two pronouns, the level two nouns, and the sentences that you would need to study. So really what yeah. I did <clears throat> was... Um, Kind of just take the, uh, I would write everything out. So whenever we're doing the basic verb of doll, uh, I would use, like I'd write everything out. It is a house. It is a shirt. They are two houses. They are three houses. It is two shirts. It is three shirts. It's a flower. They are flowers. They are two flowers. Just like doing that repetition um so going through the basic verb doll and then uh getting into the um two part verb of ball saw the shirt i saw the house uh and also the switching it up to where not just saying i saw it but then getting into you saw the shirt, you saw the house, you saw the flowers. Uh, wow. And then he or she saw the flowers. He or she saw the shirts. Uh, and then uh, the, the three-parter being give it to me. So, and I think really that's the only one that <clears throat> we go over in the level two is the uh, to me, whether it's he or she or you. Um, but then like, give me the shirt, uh, give me the flower, give me the plum uh, or plums. And then also too, for the possessive or mental pronouns, uh, which the possessive or mental uh verb was doll um and then saying like uh hold da yan doll is my shirt or is yeah so like just practicing that um or saying like hold da an doll his shirt or her shirt um but really the best thing for me um which everyone's learning style how it works best for you. But I found writing it out, I mean, <laughs> it was a lot, but writing it out consistently just over and over and over and over again really oh. helped um, kind of like stick it in my mind. Um, so that's, that's kind of what I did. Um, and that 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 was able to help me so um and after that kind of what i've been doing too um even though we were supposed to just record like read the story record it and send it in 
uh, what I've been doing with, for example, um, the Christmas encampment, uh, a kind man, the way it was in olden times, or a captive woman, um, I've just been reading it over and over and over again for like uh, two weeks at a time. Um, kind of doing like trying to do around two hours of like intense study, just reading the story over again. Uh, listening to the recording and trying to follow along um, and then like while reading the book and then also to um, listening to it without reading to see what I can catch what I can remember um, which has been uh, pretty beneficial um, so but yeah that's <clears throat> kind of the main thing as far as the verb and pronoun sets go um it's really been just that repetition of writing it out oh. he wrote books oh. in Hebrew. different different uh, i'm surprised you hadn't met him i know I, I want to meet him my uh uh Kenny, Kenny met him and so did uh dr kennedy oh. he come and stay for about a week or two Oh. work with him then yeah. yeah my uh Isidor, uh he's from south london and he and uh him and my sister are going to be going to uh england this year in december and uh they asked me if i wanted to go and i'm thinking about it i'm hoping i can and if i do that i think it's nice to try and uh meet up with him since he's there in London. But Obaha no yanto zan ma. Oh, aho. Those are really awesome tips and awesome strategies. Yeah, reading reading definitely helps. Um, uh, not to go on a little on a tangent, but just simply, uh, there was a video that I watched by um Stephen Krashen, who's um who talks about second language acquisition, which is what we are doing. Um, and basically, there was a study of these students sure, uh, in a particular language. There's another group that was that received a lecture, but also was given 10 to 15 minutes of independent uh, reading in that language. And end of the same time, uh, the advancement of the uh, lecture only class was around uh, seven months, seven to eight months progress. And the ones that got to do 10 to 15 minutes of independent uh, reading every day, we're at 15 months. So about uh, around double the growth of the other group. So I highly recommend reading, reading those stories over and over again. Because it'll help tremendously. Oh. And of course, Judy or anyone, you just drop into those Monday night. There's just a few of us there. And I know at the District 7 office. It's like six, or I don't get there till six or seven. Oh. And it goes till nine or so, however long we want to stay and ask dang questions.
So, Melody, do you want to do level two pronouns? Oh, we could, if that's what everyone wants to work on. Sounds like some of us might want to. We could practice some level two tonight. Um, I can't share my screen right now, but if someone wants to pull it up, the PowerPoint, we could do that. I didn't know I talked so much. Oh, we ain't daily. We have to. Sing. And if I got a scabby voice, I know they make fun of that, but I enjoy singing. <laughs> At least you get the words out of it. I get tired being hot dog. Dane said he'd come back if he could. He's, he had a quick meeting. Yeah, he said he would try. Um, let's see. Oh, it looks like we lost Judy. So it's just Ramon and myself and Aunt Carolyn for learners. So I guess whatever you all would like to discuss or share with us, it's up to you. And I see Miss Marion is here as well. Hi, Miss Marion. Good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Hey, Dorothy. Dorothy. Uh, well, I didn't what? See <laughs> oh. We were discussing. Yes, uh, good to see you. Several of us were discussing uh, at, the, at the camp that I went to for a little while to do the closing prayer. It was such a good turnout. It turned out right. so nice. It was well operated. Well, uh, 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 I just really enjoyed that. I got, it was uh, mingling with the children. But there was a woman there that was dressed like a Muslim. And I heard she was the one that bestowed mm -hmm. gifts. And several of the ladies and I were talking about it earlier. What was her purpose? Uh -huh. Does anyone know? Right. What was she doing? She uh, contributed, uh, I understand, and I'm not being nosy. It's other people that have done that, too. 
She furnished a lot of the food. She furnished the money. She furnished the gifts. And she told me she was Lakota. But she had on the big to do as they were in the Arabian state or whatever. I think, she, I, yeah, I think she's, um, she's a Sioux in, Indian woman married to a Muslim. And they're trying to find or locate uh, Indian people that, or tribes that they can work with because they're saying that some of the tribal people have to go through a lot of red tape and the Muslims have the money to help with these different types of uh, programs. But I think that's pretty fishy. I got a t-shirt. I love the t-shirts. I love them. Courtney. They were so nice. And uh, <laughs> uh, I looked at one of those bags that uh, were pretty expensive quality. They were nice. Anyway, Martha and Marion and I were, you know, wondering what her name was. Any of you guys know? Did she have credentials? <laughs> I don't know. But it's the way when people are shooting at each other without notice anymore. Something Hi, Hi Father. What are you doing? I'm on a Zoom meeting right now. You're what? On a Zoom meeting with the language group. Until, uh, let's see. About yeah. 35 it's minutes. Same, but oh, oh, she was with the foundation. Call back, so that, I think the the department that set us up with her was uh, the grants department. It was uh, Lahoma, Lahoma Zotai. The one that's married to the AOA director, Dan. But I'm not sure what, what was. I could, I didn't remember it. I think she took a group picture with a lot of us. I think I took a picture by her too. Yeah, she said she had a Sioux Indian grandma. Hate dog, ya hon ya haiga, haiga, ditsata. On the target to get on me. Time, son, they ate the bit high. Made a pretty show. Children were all happy, and the food seemed to be good. It was just all around but good. I got one t shirt, though. <laughs> Maybe I'll go walk at the Fourth of July. This looks scabby in a t shirt. <laughs> okay, who's next? My stupid glove. 
<laughs> uh, let's see here. Who do we have? Uh, I guess Judy. Judy was saying she messaged. She said she's having trouble with her her internet connection, so she doesn't know if she'll be able to get back on this evening. But she said she'll watch the recording. Um. So, uh, I guess uh, if anyone has any words of wisdom to share uh, with us about how we can learn our language, any suggestions that any of you would like to share? I don't know, but the Riverside fight song in 1939 through the 40s was We are Indians on the warpath with our spears and tomahawks. We used to sing that at Concho when we played football. <laughs> they probably knock us off the field if we use that kind of words <laughs> Or we'll have your scalps today. That was our fight song. Can you imagine the way things have changed now? Oh. Oh. Oh, hey, there's Judy. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I had, a, I had an emergency this morning. I know you'll care a whole lot. I got a call and the dogs were out of dog food and they had peanut butter sandwiches for breakfast. And I had to try to get away to the store to buy dog food. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> They're about your dog size, Melody. They like to eat. Oh, I, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how... In, Anybody's name. We kept about nine dogs all the time I was growing up. And six horses. I don't know how the folks on it sleep with the dogs. I wouldn't do that now for nothing. <laughs> Let's see. What I got down by the end. Hey, go me. Hey, go me. No, no, they hang my car on your tire. Call you down, I argue. Eight ticket. Something. I said, the nights are the worst for me. I just cannot sleep. So I read a lot. Ramon, like you said, read too much. I think I'm running my eyes. We'll, we'll be okay. praying for where you're able to get some good rest at night. I guess this is the best way to, to say it, but for all of you that lost loved ones, if my condolences can't do that, but the language people have Designed, uh, I don't believe they're for sale, but I've seen one. They're just really nice. It, it's a sympathy card, and it has big bait. They be strong and, and try hard. Eight adults up to we're praying. And I think that's so comforting to get something like that. And touching the face. And I want to compliment um, Melody and 
Judith, Courtney, every one of you, Julia. I'm so proud of y'all. The girls have so much polish, and that's why you've want, you've you've done this. And Dane has ran this pretty darn good. I think it, I think you guys are ready to teach any place. Ramon, that includes you too, all of you guys. And I I can't find that Mr. Poeman yet. He was a natural with the people. I remember each of you the way you learned, or you already knew, and you each what I noticed first about you. I appreciate y'all being so nice to me. I just talk too much. That's my only affliction. I was getting in trouble. Well, it really touched me through this program and I hope the next ones. I think you I think he kinda indicated that you guys that you've already done it, but there's some things that are not filed to you know, something. The first batch and you all came through with good colors. I think you're all qualified. Oh they do all me. And for just one of your teaching, I read where you're teaching at least fifteen hundred people. And they say, as long as there's a Kiowa language, we'll always be here. But yeah, but the respect it. It's so refreshing because we don't have any vulgarity in our language. And I'm proud to teach that. No vulgarity whatsoever. And when the English vulgarity. Somebody played past, put that on Facebook. I'm an old woman, but it still shocks me. We didn't even know no language like that. We mostly spoke Kiowa. Worst word was Sapoma. And that doesn't hurt you, owl woman. Or same thing. Or we could, we could make a little booklet with all of those uh, sounds. I remember Daniel came one time and he said, "What's hey good?" I say, "Hey good." Or what he meant when you're about to lose your your uh, temper and you're walking on the edge and you're just about to fall off. How do you say that? Martha, all of y'all. Hey, go. Me, go. Me, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Make, make me mad. So don't say nothing else. Oh, I see. How do you say it? And big ears, there's. Hey, go. Oh, me, go. Oh, yeah. some bad uh, nicknames. Man, those hmm. are cute and how again they could be comical too and I was reading those old ones by M.A. and Q and I laughed all afternoon when you're really dancing hard and you stop and the song keeps on <laughs> things that you've done the things you've done on the dance area I'm just filling in time, I'm, Melody. Oh, okay, Grandma. Let's see. And there was a, who's going to dance at Gawking Tree uh, Creek, the Blackfeet place? Is it 
the the one from which who are, just name one person that belongs to that one. Who's going to dance at the Blackfeet this weekend? <laughs> hi, they. Yeah, hi, go. Is it Richard McMahon and that bunch, or is it the ones from uh, Joe Poe? Gort fans, I know they're in Carnegie. And then there's uh, the one at Lawton. And then there's one at Gawking Creek. You know, where they're at Gawking and they don't get to a car. I think it's uh, this weekend, I think it's that. Uh, remember, they used to be south of Carnegie? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the name of their their organization or their society. I don't know the name, but uh, that's next. That's during uh, fourth. But uh, this weekend is Taipei Park. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I wanted to know. That's all I know. Eh? I don't know anything else. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy. Monday. Dorothy. Remember um, uh, James Reader? Yes, I do. His was was he Beatrice Prentice's uh, mother-in-law, father and son-in-law? No, it was uh, his his mom was Vera Vera Yazi, Vera Yazi. Think of Vera uh, uh, Reader. Reader. But his mother-in-law was Flora Flora. Flora, so and Flora so and that's a gamma, gamma saddle. That's his. Yeah, uh, yeah. 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 Anyway, we went to the funeral yesterday and we're on our way back, me and my daughter. Gamma, oh, you're on the road. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just wanted to be with Shirley, you know, because her mom. Yeah. You know, on and she needed, I felt like she needed a, a Kiowa relative there. So, and, um, you know, I've known her since she was just a little girl. So that's what I, I just thank the Lord that I was able to go. Right now we're gonna hit it back, but we're we're uh we're in Denver, but we're we're trying to find um um uh, urgent care. My daughter's foot it looks like it. Well, it's not not look. It is infected, so we have to find an urgent care, take care of that so she can get antibiotics, and then we're gonna just stay here with my granddaughter. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to uh, mention, uh, uh, that funeral we went to, it was, mm -hmm. it was, they they um, the different, different tribe, uh, tribal members that they, uh, you know how we adopt family. It became, they were real close with them and they talked and it was really nice the way they talked. So really, you could tell that they were raised by their, their, yeah, they were taught elders because they've had good ways and good words so anyway just let you know because i knew i figured you knew you know you knew the yeah, family there now, was Jimmy, a, the Jimmy, and, he That's did the, he, he sang he sang um some hymns at the church and at the graveside so yeah mm -hmm. anyway that's and it where are you at in albuquerque or Went through Denver, Denver, Colorado. So we went to Logan, Utah. Oh, that's the longest, longest ride we ever had. Oh my gosh, we did everything was going wrong too, but we made it. So, yeah, we're we're in we're in Denver. We're probably going to spend the night because um... when we went to a year ago. We stopped at the uh, Osage place where they have uh, Indian. Is it still there? Where at? We got fry bread and all kind of Indian food. God was good. Where at? In Denver. Oh, no, no. We're just now pulling while we're, oh, gosh, we hit the rush hour, so we're barely moving. Oh, gosh. So, yeah. Travel All right. Mercy. Travel mercies. Thank you. Thank you. Aho. You're an angel, Velma. Oh. 
Thank you. <laughs> so are you and Dorothy. <laughs> All of you guys are. You got, you're coming on so clear. Yeah. I yeah. Think I'm, I'm just really happy. Uh, they finally fixed my hearing aids. And hey, God, I'm the boss now. I hear everything else say. I've been going around with broken ones and I can't hear nothing and it's calm when you say what? <laughs> um, why don't each of us say something in Kawa? Um, what? Or tell something that happened to you. I must be the only goofy one. Hi, yell. I'm on the get get home. Dorothy Palmer and I, my sister, went down. It was a snowy night, and it's, I'm not going to name the people or the circumstance, but there was a big funeral because one of our people had passed. Gus told us he sent us on a mission. Get the, get the groceries and take them. And then he had ordered a huge wreath. Take that on and give it to them at the funeral home before the services start. So it was a full house. The cars were way down to Main Street and all over. There's a full house, and we went in together, and Donna Jean and Dorothy were carrying the wreath. And so I pulled us going in front of him. We got up there, and we're getting closer to the lady, and I said, I don't, I don't look like her. It's the Indian lady. This one looks too light complexed. Well, I know in Moha you kind of hold back. Dorothy was already crying loud. And <laughs> anyway, to make a long story short, we got there and it was somebody else. Did anyone ever get that embarrassed? We were crying for the wrong one, Adoko Imada. Same humor not there. That's how I guess it. That's how that's what happened to my daughter. They, they came from Arizona and they sure were at Smith's funeral home sitting there and sitting there and and then they finally realized they kind of look around and looked at toward the body and everything and then they go, it was the wrong it was the wrong funeral. <laughs> 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 There's nothing funnier too when you're sitting up after a Native American church, a Saintly meeting, and they tell those crazy stories on people. I love that. And a sense of humor. That's what gets Kaiwas by. Classy people. Yeah, those be. Good ways. And it's going to be 106 this weekend. And Oklahoma City still has no lights in part of it because that wind was 91 miles an hour last night. It was straight hurricane type wind. Now, what kind of stories, Melody, to make people laugh? Oh, man. Those are good ones, though. My dad tells the best stories, but... <laughs> I know the the cutest guy was saying, I, I don't know who got it from who, but 
when you want somebody to dance and they won't get up. And then you go by there, they call it an on an on You go by there and you do four steps and they have to get up and dance. And you would say, Come on, ma And it's uh, you know, the Tokoi say, Come on, break a leg. Not funny. It wouldn't do for me to be a comedian. Am I fine? More a tame. It means Ma dance so hard, it looks like your leg is broken. <laughs> oh. And and then when they want you to dance, they'll say, "Come on, cut a lot, cut a uh, break a leg." And oh. Sammy White. Tongyai was the best dancer I've ever seen in my time. Him and John Frank MQ were the smoothest dancers I've ever seen. Roland Whitehorse, Dixon Palmer. It felt like you were dancing with nobody. They were so smooth. More tone they are tame. Yes. Oh. And I'm, I'm on talk, or you mean you take your foot, if they're just sitting there all grouchy and mean, and you go dance by them, and you take four lively steps right by them. They don't pay you or nothing. You just say, get up and dance. And they have to. And I don't know how anybody can listen to music and not dance. I can't now just for my body giving out on me. I have to dance with a, a walker <laughs> or stay sitting. And, uh, and Marion, I can't beat Guy no more. <laughs> Probably wouldn't straighten up. That's when you give the honor bow. And when you're sitting at the drum, your support singers are the men. You do not say chorus girl. Top be my ma. Top be aya. Not top be. It's top be. And you're just like backup singers to the men. And they're supposed to treat you with uh, respect. And that was Alt Bay Mimo? Yeah, Alt Bay. Alt Bay? Yeah, Bay. Bay. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, that's uh, what they call chorus girls now. But I, oh, pay on, yeah, is what I would say if I told you all I sat at the drum all afternoon. It's a formal way. Oh, pay on, yeah. Yes. Oh. A man would say that it has to be a woman, you know. Oh. And now they'll say, you of course, girls. Huh? And almost every song I have ever heard, just me, has words. Some of them are very, very personal. And, and one is the one that was made for someone in the organization loved it. And it was sung last week. There was a lady in the old days 
I'm not saying about something I heard. I'm talking about things I've seen. And when they would sing this, she was an older woman when I was already pretty well up in age. She would actually go to the drum and tell them to quit singing that song. Because her brother belonged to one of our organizations, his Alto Ego, and he was killed in an ambush as a warrior. And there's a song where he walked up into the mountains singing this song. That the mountain goats are calling me. I'm going to go. And when she'd hear that song, she would ask him to please not sing it. And in turn, I'm going to list that mom. woman. Hi, dream. Hi, Taylor, doll. Clyde our tapes. Mother-in-law or his wife. And I'll be... I always want to get answers to questions like that because those songs also have a rich lineage to us and I mean a way to us because we're Kiwas. And you hear those stories and then you have nothing like at Daniel Harbour, you know, when he mentioned him a while ago, he was Parker McKenzie's co writer. It was him and the lady from uh, Colorado, it's her name. They're the ones that recommended me for that uh, little bitty, little bitty thing I done. Laurel, Laurel. Watkins. Laurel Watkins. Parker and uh, uh, Daniel was his protege. And he learned all of his Kiowa from him. That's why I continue to say Daniel was my sequoia. It's a lot of, uh, he came for years. He knew all of the, all of them. From Carnegie, from the Elder Center, since we had a, since they had built it. He'd stay for about a week or two. We'd sing up at Vanessa's sometime. Just maybe four or five of us. But my sisters had good voice. And when I hear their names, I always feel good. I haven't seen him in a long time. I, I quote Dr. Bill Meadows because he was one of my favorites. He was so accurate. And I quote him because I looked at the people that told him. And I respect their Kiowa and their songs and everything. Just like I did my dad. So I like Bill Meadows. He's accurate. There's countless guys that are, and then some will outright say we were at Mobay or something. Marion and them know that. I'm just more vocal. I just, uh, it just bothers me that these people were so good about things. I mean, look at the caliber of the people that told their version of something and he lists them. I wouldn't have their books if I didn't visit with them sometime. Couldn't afford those. It can't miss once and then some would go and tell outright crazy things that weren't true according to our elders. Nobody knew what I was singing when I sang uh, Book, book, tale, 
to hold it. Boop, 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 tail. Stony Road. I couldn't explain that. Just They didn't know what I was talking about. That snake. That's a snake that the two boys killed. Yeah, I Their said grandma. nobody knew it. Come on, yeah. snake. And that was their grandpa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a, so holy boop, 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 boop to you. So holy boop, boop, so holy boop, boop. I said he had spots on his body. It was her husband. Mm. <laughs> he was a polka dotted snake. And when I took on trying to talk Kiowa to that's what Lila knew. I also took on those are Kaiwa stories. We all have a right to those. And if I want to share them with somebody, like my grandchildren or something, that's my business. We have such beautiful songs. And we were corrected. We're supposed to. We're supposed to share them with our children and grandchildren. And that one because song, that's it's ours. Of... Yes, ma'am. And uh, one that was sung, it's sung at the cemetery when our veterans, combat veterans, are going down. Our little children were rabbit dancing to that. I'm just going to come as vocal as I can. Because they didn't know. Uh, oh, babe, yeah, they, last, last week. And I'm, I was kind of not silent when I was told not to be telling those things. What are our children? Where are they going to learn it? That's Kaiwa. We're all Kaiwa. We all have a right. Got cold. If we didn't, we wouldn't have been given the go ahead. Go ahead. I was appalled because I heard that last at uh, my brother Roland and Dixon. And our kids were, were rabbit. And one finger for a owl, two fingers for a rabbit. Or is it the opposite? And right now, since I'd already went this far, the words are just so humbling in that song. I get thy dog of Tula, oh boy, him. It's a lesson. Go ahead, go, go, go. I get thy dog of a tan hinton, the bora. I get thy dog of Tula, oh boy, him. sacred words and we had a rabbit dance. that's the remark I made and now I'm in trouble again that has to be corrected with the younger ones whoever's singing in the songs they need to know which ones they are I mean, their usage, and I think I thought they had more rabbit dance songs that they were singing, because there should be at least a couple of them, but then there's only one. They the round dance. It's a Ray Annette Valmaruth. The round dance 
it's like it's a round dance, you know. It's you, you guys dance, you know. It's kind of like a trotting. The other is a more solemn step, you know. That the uh, and uh, Frank Corbin at one time made a song that sounded more like an entry. Grant, you know, when you're coming into in a line, and it had war dance steps, but. They rejected that one, and I thought it's pretty. Had the good words to it. We need to do something like that to try to bring our children more up to date on some of our more things that made us feel good, uh, respectful. Marion's uh, grandfather. He brought back the Wooly song back from the Smith, uh, Smith, uh, Smithsonian, or nobody would have found it. And Kai was decided what temple to put it at. I was there. My brothers are singers, and I. They call it. They call it yeah, that it was put into the Smithsonian. But Grandpa had the original from that, which was actually yeah. the, the same song. Yeah. Vanessa and I watched him give it to Gus. The Alpito. Alpito means mm -hmm. that they don't believe you. And I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm full blood Kawa. And I'm just as good as anybody else. My God gave me the grace to uh, to tell things accurate the way I heard it or be quiet. And I had to tell you guys that that's part of history and we need to write that R-I-G-H-C for the sake of you guys. I'm a cold gut, but babe, no talk, you're a dang cool babe, though. That's a black spoon song. And then there's that Sundance song they sing for cleaning up my bottle. Clean up song. And then there's the Zohori Bopo. And then two other ones that our little children are rabbit dancing to. That's why I was so glad to help because you guys are younger. You could, you could uh, tell your children and do the example. I was figured that was my, I'm the last one. I have no sisters to take up for me. I have nobody. And I better get all this done with you guys. Bop e hota, gaba e hota. But no hota, I don't have any. Help us, because it's about the only, only way to turn. Record them when you can. Get copies to the museum or somewhere and sing them. Please. Y'all hear me? Oh. 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 I feel a little bit. It's up to you guys. <laughs> I've seen some gentlemen this week, and then I'm going to quit talking, I promise. He put on there, poor thing, he was praying, and he said, we're putting up, he meant the sweat, I'm, I'm doing the, I'm heating. Come over if you feel like praying. And somebody put on there, do it right. 
And that was that wasn't the likely answer. You know, you're trying your best to do something. It's your efforts. But I said, I should have been mean, but I don't write on those things. And put shit. You know, the way they talk, you know, you have no no business to criticize somebody's efforts. I mean, someday y'all are gonna think of that when you when you get old and I can't even hold on to anything anymore. I'll drop it. That's my biggest frustration frustration. My brain is okay. I'm working with smart women. Dolores, Velma, Marion, Marty, all of you, Judy, Chelsea. Done a lot of work with Miss Woodard. Her husband was a he was a jewel. Her dad. So that's who's teaching y'all. I'm not going to miss any more. No, no idea. I just want to sometimes just sit and then I always get started talking and I'm a big mouth. I talk to y'all during the week and we should just make a little, little sentences for something. Oh. There's so many sayings, you know, like Sena Panga Kola Kai go betain day. And you young ones, it's when somebody makes a pass at you and trying to date you and you think they don't have a chance. <laughs> it says Kola Kai. No, it says straighten out your snot, a tie it in a knot. Sena Pai. And stretch your neck and start running. <laughs> you don't have a chance. Does that make sense? Sin I pine go cola chai go be tende or be on go. It means kick yourself. And that's what Sende was getting when he was trying to marry this woman. Beto Honde Zil Bidome. She was a monkoi. And they pulled her up. And they pulled her up. And he begged her too much and she pulled him all over the county. And then saying, I've lost my horses. Three of them are red. Three of them are buckskin. Tzeyo, a little bitty baby horse. Pant sing guy. Seven of them. They've got step, they've got spots. And it just says, I'm tired and I'm hunting for my horses. And that's one way you could learn that song. And then you're saying the old tiny colors for how they work. Oh, it's a yo, it's a little, a little bitty guy. And then there's Tsegun, or a little dog. Tsegun, it's a Tsegun, a little horse. And then for a little bit of cute little puppy, it's a Sekolo. There's three words for, or I've told people there's three words for dog. But uh, I was, uh, people said there was just one. That's Sekolo. Oh. 
now somebody else how much time we got left now we can um, let me see. Um, oh, it looks like we're, um, we're at time. Um, I think Miss Marion had to jump off. And so did Grandma Martha. They had to jump off. Um, I guess Dane's meeting must have lasted a while. <laughs> so maybe we'll catch him. Uh, let's see our next meeting our next session will be let's see the week after the fourth so july 10th so we'll meet on july 10th um and then we'll uh we'll have to get get busy and practice so that we can prepare for our that credentialing on july 29th so uh july 10th uh, will be our next session and then uh We'll continue practicing. So I think that's all we got for today. Obaha. I don't want to <clears throat> seem greedy, greedy either. I always feel like a tourist. <laughs> well, we appreciate you, Grandma. Appreciate all, right, then. all of your there's oh. an Indian there's an Indian saying for a tourist. He go get sa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, grandma, I think uh, Grandma D is. Uh, she wants to say something. Okay. Not I'm kill. Not like I'm kill. I go bad. Ah. What's that? I cook a lot of butter. Oh, okay. The cook, Ellie. Nobody could ever, ever say they told us to come and eat or what coo, a coo means. And uh, I even asked Oscar at Sud and his brothers one time, and we couldn't come to a. And am I the cook, Ellie? Don't know, but they gave me heck because I said, Hey, good toy, bun man. They said, Don't ever say that. I said, I'm going home. I just they said, they were going to your house. I just asked her if she was camping, I was going to come by and eat. <laughs> I'm not even going to be able to be there. So, me either, me either, D. So anyway, uh, I'm so proud of all of you. Ramon, you just amaze me. I guess you stay up all night memorizing, right? <laughs> Sounds like it. Oh yeah, I, I try to. I try to do a lot of, a lot of studying. Or when I'm driving, yeah. uh, Whenever I go to Anadarko, I have those KCP tapes, so I just listen to them on on the way on my commute uh, home and to work. Yeah, there are uh -huh. there are jewels. Oh, I'm fortunate to have them. Oh, oh. who's so. that? The uh, the Kiowa Culture Program tapes. Do we have them? Yeah, they were at the museum for a while and then they were digitized. Um, so we got them uh, uh, as recordings. I, I I have them on a USB and my car has a USB port. So I just plug them in. Um, but we can also make CDs uh, of them. So because I've, I've made a couple for Raymond. Well, good. Yeah. Well, if Raymond can have them, I can too. Oh, I'll tell I'll tell Darren first thing to start start making them. Yeah, I got I got several today when I done something over the the deal. Um, Dulles is singing some pretty good church song. Now, Darren. And I had given them some hand cam tapes, and half of them were not finished. 
I'm sure Dolores in there, you're not supposed to share it. But I'm I'm gonna have that for my I guess you got one, Dolores. It's Tony's when he uh was doing that with the crows and they wanted more money or something or something happened and the deal went through. So didn't go through, so the tape is there. And with hand game songs on it already recorded. And, uh, the cross wind sign, so it's it's a black market one. <laughs> I'm not supposed to play it, but I've got that one. But I bet you people have things that should be shared like that. Like the, the Fort Marion trip. Uh, the Pulos. I was going to tell Marion, there's a pipe bag over at Canyon Canyon Museum by Peladoro. And it was the Prophets. It was, what's his name? Mamantes. And it's there. I never knew of any safe place to put it. Even if we claimed it, where could you put it? Where it be safe? Connie, kind of I'm looking at you, Ramon, like you're still looking back at <laughs> <laughs> On my picture? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm afraid to get it out because I'll be responsible. What am I going to do with it? Ramon, where, where are you doing a day at the office? No, I'm at home. Yeah, I'm I'm at the oh. office in Darko. Oh. Yeah. From from eight to four thirty. Okay. Uh, I might could give you a call. Oh, okay. Dawdle uh, and calm. And calm. So hiya though. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't. I don't care to have those. I know them. my kids will. They probably never get on the road. Uh, my grandkids, my children are half, and I gave up on that several weeks ago. What do you all think? Will our Will we ever be able to call our own Kaiwas? There should be something. I I don't I I don't know how it's gonna be. I know the I know we're I know we're supposed to be sovereign and a lot of the times it's like we're still going by the standards of the government, you know, like yeah. how they recognize us. Yeah. Rather than how we recognize ourselves or our own. Yeah. I, uh, I've got kinfolk. We're, we're just not, uh, what shall I say, civic-minded, as we should be with our own government and with and keeping up with what's going to happen in the future to us. Oh. How do we know that we're going to have, uh, what is it, tax-free status for our land forever? Oh, yeah. That's coming up somehow. Well, they'll take everything. Right. So, anyway, just be... Anna, do you pray for That's me? Fine. I still do not have a seller. I, I and. Everybody has one but me. I have to pay to get my grass cut. They just now found me. You got a leak. But all day, the people that live, that have the ends, I don't know. My, temp my transportation was paid by the Smithsonian. The Kiwis didn't pay it. 
both ways. Well, no, I don't have to take medicine, so better sign off. Yeah, it means I'm about to give up. It's just we ran oh, to both. Grandma. Go to aim though, Grandma. Grandma D. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I hear you, Grandma. Grandma Dorothy. When when you first came on, uh, I got I was I don't know how to work this thing, so it went off when Dane uh -huh. left, and I had done the closing prayer for that part. So I was sitting here blank until Linda came back and fixed me. When you were on Melody, that's why I didn't talk. Oh, for well, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> and try my best. He was here. It was a good meeting. I think we're. I think he's caught up on everything. I, I found the status. I wrote it down the beach one. And and the dates right there where we meet again. I'm assuming it's in Norman. I didn't write that down, but. On the inside. Oh. I think. Put on him, tell you, a dog. Um, Bezande. What, uh, what's that mean? Bezande. Repeat it. Bezande. Bezande. Melody. Can you understand it? Um, it's a, don't Bezan it? Bezan day. Bezan day. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, with a uh, with a Z, like Z A H N D A Y. Bezan day. Oh. Go ahead and shake, <laughs> shake oh. a bow. <laughs> <laughs> Bezan day. Uh, I thought you were saying. Oh, I get dirty at all. When you say you done something, when you really done something you shouldn't have done, oh. or, if you, or if you overstepped, uh, I get dirty at all. And you know, I I messed up again. I tore it again. Oh, okay. What does it sound like to you, uh, Melody? Well, that makes I, sense. Just shake it. <laughs> I guess I had heard it in reference to, like, after telling someone to, like, beha, after, like, tell, trying to get them to get up. Oh, like, Bezan, they, uh, get moving. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, when they're waking you up. Oh. Beha, Bezan, they, get up, start moving. Oh, okay. I couldn't figure that out for the life of me, for a while. It's a zombie. Start moving, Ramon. <laughs> oh. Well, it's going to be hot, y'all. Watch the weather. Oh. oh. Stay cool, Grandma. <laughs> Don't get overheated. I'm going to be in my house. It's just too hot to go out. Last time I went oh. to Fort Glenn and sat there for a little while, my cheap shoes almost melted on my feet. Golly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> as, as dark as I am, the imprint of my sandals was on my feet. Goodness. And I'm dark, and I'm, I'm almost sunburned. Oh, just saddle. 
today I was waiting uh after we got done I was gonna uh put some more stuff up at the camp so well hopefully it's cooled off a little oh, oh okay. yeah the sun's gone down so nice oh can he go kisoto <laughs> tomorrow right afternoon <laughs> kisoto it seemed like my clock always tried to outdo me when i'm talking it goes louder well you'll just keep nice and pretty and i'll see you when i see you Probably on the tenth. Oh. They go to the oi. Oh. They go about oi, don't talk. Oh. They go about oi, don't talk. Oh. When did you have me? Go to aim, go, Grandma. No, I'll. What about Rudy Bantista when he said, when they get hot? <laughs> oh, <you> good. <laughs> He's supposed to say, when they get saddled, when they get hot. <laughs> <laughs> it was that hot, he was forgetting the words. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be cute. I hadn't seen him. Well, he passed away about five years ago. Rudy and all my neighbors. I will see you. Oh. Oh, I'm up.